Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial in Canva. Before we get started, make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime I upload new videos. So let's jump straight into Canva. <laughs> Okay, so here we are in Canva and you know, usually I just go for the dimension 19, no, 1080 by 1350. Okay, so this time around, I just decided to be one step ahead. So I also selected this photo and I would highly recommend that before you can, uh, you know, for the sake of this tutorial, I would highly recommend you go with a photo without a background. And if you have a photo um, with a background, you can use this website which is remove remove.bg okay it's a very cool website effective and it works like magic so you just drag your image and it will remove the background of your image but you have to make sure that you know your background should be a plain background it works better if your background is a plain background okay so just take note of that okay so back into this we we'll just scale this up it's a gentleman and i'm just wondering who he's looking at maybe he's looking at one of the ladies watching this tutorial you know yeah as usual that's what guys do yeah okay so and i'll scale this up and i'll just position it right here and all i would have to do is i'll right click copy right click paste and i made a tutorial i I recorded this tutorial earlier on but after i recorded it i realized that there was so much the background noise was just unbearable so i just decided to do it again and that's how come i am doing this again okay so we'll just duplicate this copy and right click paste then i'll place this into the frame okay then i'll double click and increase increase make this okay okay so we just have to adjust till they are similar and it doesn't have to be 100 percent but you can target 99 or 95 percent similarity so that you know when it's looking like this we can't tell which is which that's what we are looking for then the next thing i'll do is to um okay so this is the photo we have at the back okay this is this, this the shape and this is the photo we have at the back so i'll bring this to the front okay then i'll trim this to somewhere here okay so this is how it looks you wouldn't see the effect yet but we would see it very soon so i added a circle and i'll send this to the back and this is how it's looking now so i hope you're enjoying it so press control if you're on the pc if it's mac i don't know you have to look for your key okay so press control and click you know i think double times so that we can select the circle at the back okay mm. then we'll just change the color i want to go with uh, an interesting color let me see what I, yeah this is what i went with and i would control c and control v and increase the size of the circle a little bit and change the color to something nicer and i'll send it to the back okay and all i can do is to position i want to position the circle okay so maybe i'll just reduce the size a little bit so that you can have a good looking circle okay so this is what we have and i'll select all and group so that we have one uh nice thing over here so i'll reduce this a little bit and i'll center this now let me increase the size a little bit nice one there okay so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to add our background so we'll use the gradient g r a d i e n t i will so you can hear anything in the background but if you can't hear anything then i 
I'm just glad, you know, they're just nicey ladies making unnecessary noise. So, just pardon me, okay? Yeah, so I'll just kill this app, you know, and since it's gradient, I will just uh, change the color. So, change one color to this and the other color to that so that we can have something looking, you know, smooth and fresh. Then, I'll right click and send this to the back then i'll just duplicate okay which is a ctrl c ctrl v and i'll move this and i will rotate this to something like this anyhow you want to rotate it you can just do so now i'll also send this to the back so we have something like this then i will just group them and i'll lock them okay and there's one more thing I want to do. First of all, I'll don't group this and I want to change the shape. I want to change the color so that we can see the difference. Okay, yeah. Then I select all again and I group them. As simple as that. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to add my text. So I press um T on my keyboard, or you can just come to the text and select, okay. I choose my font type which I like Montserrat and I would say business so B U S R N E S S okay and I'll increase the size a little bit and I'll move this to the left or right I don't know which is which and I'll duplicate okay yeah now just come in type port cast you can write anything anything at all you want to use but i would just go for this business podcast because uh i think that's the fastest thing i can think about or the quickest thing i can think about and i'll change this to something like this okay business podcast so i'll select all and i'll group them and i believe this is looking fantastic so i'll keep it something like this nice one or maybe i can take this up and take this also up then the next thing i'm going to do then the next thing i'm going to do is to select you know uh, my elements again and i want uh, a shape okay so this is looking good and i just stretch this out and uh, squeeze this okay and since i'm just going to write maybe business podcast with um with no i want to use this with mark angelo i don't know if he's called mark angelo and please don't hold me for this okay uh oh sorry let me just turn on my uh landing page so what am i even saying where's the focus assist sorry okay so <laughs> you saw my message oh my goodness anyway that's just by the way i'll squeeze this here and now it squeezes here nice one i think something like this is cool and i will just oh uh, no okay and i'll change the color of this to white okay and i'll say maybe every um thursday at um how do you call it every thursday at 4 pm okay something like this and i'll just stretch it out so we have it here so this is just a concept i'm giving you okay you can just do your own design and everything and um, the next thing i'm going to do is let me select out of it push this up and push this also up okay then i'll select my text again now select port cast now make it big and i'll select the extra board then i would 
make it bigger and you come to the effects and select holo oh I, that's not what i wanted anyway what is the center of this thing oh where is this thing okay so So still stretching it out. So I'll increase since I would even use since I wouldn't even use all I'll just maybe delete the pod, okay. I didn't use I'll just use the port so I'll squeeze this down and I'll bring it here and I'll increase the size more okay and I'll send this backward so I'll just send this backward then I would reduce you know the transparency so that we can have something like this then control C and control V also to the back okay then here i can just say maybe business b u s i because not we are not going to show everything so just b u s i and yeah so i have some um how do i call this thing yeah this this is the google podcast logo so i'll just bring this here and spotify i also bring it here okay and i i just wanted to yeah and i'll just bring this here and this is i think cast box or so okay now just also squeeze this down and shift it here and uh, i have this is the apple um, podcast and i'll just squeeze this down and i'll move it also so then i can just no uh, i'll lock this so that it doesn't disturb us so i select all and I center it. Or I can just bring it down. So that's looking like this is what I wanted to script. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something new in this. You know, the name is Benjamin. And and there's one more thing. We are not done. Okay, we are not done. I was just trying to trick you. The other thing I want you to do is that I want you to send me a message of your design. I want to have a look at it. Tag me on Instagram. My name is African Geeks. Okay, so tag me. Let us have fun. Let us talk. I want to get to know you and all of that. Okay, and um, you know, uh, just remember that there is no limit to creativity and not everyone can design. So if you can design, then it means you are on top and you are one step ahead. The name is Benjamin and I will see you in my next tutorial. Stay safe. Peace.